they give us a radical expression with variables and exponents. And we have to be mindful that whatever we pull from under the radical, we're going to have to multiply with what's outside the radical. So 4ABC squared stays the same. Now under the radical, I'm going to break this expression down. So the coefficient, we could use 16 times 7, right? And then we use our variables, a to the eighth. And then when we have odd exponents, this is optional. What I like to do is separate them. So I have b to the 12th, highest even exponent, times that last b, that'll give us b to the 13. And the same thing with c to the 11. We have c to the 10 times c, which would then give us c to the 11th. So now once we go in, perfect square comes out, right? So we have 4abc squared times the square root of 16, which is 4. 7 is going to stay under because we can't simplify. a to the 8th simplifies to a to the 4th. b to the 12th simplifies to b to the 6th. This last b stays under. c to the 10th simplifies to c to the 5th. And the last c stays under. So now once we clean this expression up, we have 16 a to the fifth, b to the seven, and c to the seven. And then what's left under the radical, we already highlighted. So all we need to do is put them together. So under the radical, we're going to have seven bc, and this will be our final expression once we simplify.